welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, this is going to be an interesting video. So recently at school, I had a presentation about cyberbullying. And I don't think cyberbullying is a thing. Okay, I could tell. All y'all in the comments already disliking this video, saying, Oh, evolutionist, are you, you're lying. You've never experienced cyberbullying from before. Well, yes, I've probably experienced it once, but I've never noticed it because that stuff just doesn't get to me because I don't use social media. Huh? Try that, people, in the comment section. I don't use social media. Even through YouTube's a social media platform, I don't use Instagram, Snapchat, or any of those stuff to build my confidence up. And I think that's where the issue lies. In my opinion, the definition of bullying is when somebody has a weakness and a group or one solo person capitalizes on these weaknesses to then make fun or kind of make them look cool. Another, de the second definition for me is someone spreading negative feelings to you and it is unavoidable. Okay, so once we got those two definitions down pat, now we know why cyberbullying is actually fake. So, on Instagram, you're really not gonna post like really, really bad pictures. Usually if you're posting a picture, you have maybe a nice caption or a nice picture. What weaknesses can you see in a picture? Oh, you're not wearing the nice brand. You're, oh, your lighting's bad. Like, okay, lighting, you could help but if you aren't a professional, you could be just saying, screw off, I ain't no professional, let's see your pictures. Oh yeah, they dark as hell. Or if they say you're not wearing the right brand, well guess what? You're a loser for believing in brands and what they bring to the table. They don't bring like, oh, you're cool if you wear this brand. No, brands bring quality and that's that. That's all I believe brands are for. Not that, oh, I'm rich because I wear stupid Supreme. You see where I'm getting this from. Those are all for the first definition, but for the second definition of it being unavoidable, let me just say it, technology is not needed. Our generation is overthinking it, thinking, oh, we need it, we need it, we need it. No, we really don't. And an example of us not needing it is to avoid the negativity of the internet. If you are getting cyberbullied and someone's saying mean comments, messaging you some rude and unkindly and unworldly stuff probably or they're maybe disliking your stuff whatever you think cyberbullying is you can avoid it okay if you either don't participate in social media meaning instagram snapchat youtube like if you don't participate in it how can they hurt you you're you're literally through your phone you're letting them attack you you're letting them have their fun. You're letting them kind of build their reputation of, oh, I'm cool. You're letting them have all this power over you when you yourself can actually take that away by deleting your social media or at least distancing yourself from it so then it looks like it doesn't affect you. For me, the number one thing a bully thinks about is how it affects their prey. Because if they, if their prey doesn't react and is like, Oh, screw off, you're, you're not cool, blah, 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 and just fluffs them off? What b fun is that? How do you think the bully is gonna feel? He's not gonna feel cool. That's, he's just gonna be like, oh, okay. But if you have a bad reaction, like, oh no, stop being mean, then that bully's gonna keep on doing it. Cause he's getting that feeling of weakness and the feeling that he can do it repetitively and get the same feeling back. And do it again repetitively because if he keeps on doing it, then people rec will recognize him, okay? They do it for attention and they do it to pinpoint people's weaknesses. And I feel like you don't need to hide your weaknesses, but you have to be able to control your emotions. Because once you let it go and you're frozen and jolly stuff like that, it's over. You've let them in and you've let them have power over you. You want to show them that you yourself are strong and confident. Even if you're not, even if you're not, if on the inside, you're like, mm, no, no, no one look at me, no one look at me. If you're like that, it's fine. 
because there are subtle things that can make you look that much more confident. I'll probably make a separate video on this, but here's just a couple tips just to help you guys out because I love you all. First thing is to stand up straight. Keep that back straight. Don't slump over and like kind of like look down at your feet. Look up, look straight, and if someone's talking to you, look them in the eye. Do not look at their shoes. Why? Are you part of a shoe company or something? Don't look at their shoes. That means you're unconfident and you don't want to make conflict or converse with them. So I want you to look in their eyes, stand up straight, and say with a calm voice, you're a noob, get out of my face right now. Don't say that, but something like that. I want you to have a clear voice and make it so it's solid. Don't go like, because once you start doing that, you start having different body language. Like you start playing with your little tips on your shirt. You start like shifting around, turning your shoulders in and out. You start having all this bad habit come out and show to you your bully. But if you stand up straight, look them in the eye and say, stop, you're being annoying, shut up. You'll be perfectly fine. Because guess what? You're being straightforward, strict, solid, and it makes you look like you have confidence. And what bully wants to bully someone with confidence? Hope you boys and girls have enjoyed. This video was more to say that cyberbullying is not bullying because you can get away from it. You can protect yourself from it. Real bullying is when there's no exit. You're backed into a corner. But to solve real bullying, you have to be confident and strong. If you are getting bullied, don't worry. I'm here for you, always here for you. And yeah, if you've enjoyed, like, if you liked it, dislike, obviously, if you didn't, because a lot of dislikes might come my way. And comment if you want, and subscribe if you're new. Hope you boys and girls enjoy, and y'all are beautiful, and, 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 and.